All right, Kalina, thank you. The war between Israel and Hamas may seem like it's a world away, but for two local families, it got intensely personal this week. Yeah, we are just learning details about a Camarillo mom and a city hall employee who have just escaped from Gaza. KCAL News reporter Rick Montanez is live at City Hall with their stories. Rick. And good morning. You know, the mayor says as soon as her office learned about this city employee stuck in Gaza, she and her staff began talks with the State Department and the White House. This morning, we can tell you he is now safely in Egypt. She says it took some time and a lot of work, and there was a lot of turmoil in getting to this point. The man was over visiting his elderly mother when the war broke out, but she says now he is safe. And it was still a trying time for him. It has been a source of tremendous turmoil and pain speaking with his son. Uh, his father had gone to northern Gaza to visit his mother. And when he was told to evacuate, he evacuated to the south. He went to Rafa, and then he wasn't able to get across the border. And then again, we've learned about another Southern California family dealing with this, a woman trapped in the war zone. She, too, had just escaped to Egypt. Naela El Sharafa was also visiting her family in Gaza when the attacks began. From Chicago, her son tells us she had tried to cross the border into Egypt five different times since the war broke out, but it was either too busy or shut down. Well, yesterday, he finally got the phone call with the news she had escaped, but the celebration did not last long. She was crying when I first spoke to her. I mean, there was a sense of relief that I had when she left, when she was able to get out finally. But at the same time, you know, slowly that uh, ex that relief and, and and happiness withered away when we started realizing we have a lot of families still in Gaza. And that is a shared fear with so many Americans who are making their way back here and have to leave family back overseas in that war zone, they wonder what will happen to them. As for getting those two Americans we just talked about back here to Southern California, those travel plans are still in the works. Reporting live in downtown LA this morning, Rick Montanez, KCAL News. Mm. All right, Rick, Rick, thank you.